Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to restore your Ledger Nano S using your 24 word recovery phrase in the new Ledger Live application. So let's get going. Okay, so um, if you need to restore a ledger, maybe you lost it or it got uh, destroyed or uh, dropped in the ocean somewhere, they have an interface for doing that. And uh, when you install Ledger Live, you can use this to help you walk you through the process, right? So this is a first run of Ledger Live. We'll do get started and we're going to choose restore a ledger device. We'll choose Ledger Nano S. Hit continue. Now the first thing they want you to do is uh, connect the ledger to your computer and press both buttons. And uh, in this case I have uh, a working ledger so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, reset by entering the pin incorrectly three times. Okay, and then when I do that, I'm going to get to uh, the welcome screen. Uh, it's just as if I had uh, bought this thing fresh. Okay, so when we first plug the Nano S into our computer, uh, it powers up and presents us with the welcome screen. And uh, there's some instructions on there on the interface. Uh, you've got those two buttons on the top. You press both buttons to make your selection and then it uh, gives you a little guidance there okay and uh, after you've read the instructions you can uh, get going by pressing both buttons and the first option uh, is uh, whether you want to configure it as a new device so that's the first question that it asks you uh, in our case what we want to do is restore so I'm gonna hit the X there and then we get to the option that uh, yes we would like to restore a configuration so choosing that option, the first thing it wants you to do is set up a pin code. You do not have to set up the same pin code that you did on the original device. Uh, the two pin codes can be different. Uh, they can be the same if uh, that helps. So here we just choose numbers as uh, we can go up and down uh, using the two different buttons. One button will take us higher and the other button will take us lower. And when we're satisfied with the number, uh, we just hit both buttons uh, to confirm that. And uh, we just move along that way and enter in a pin code. And I'm entering numbers in here. And as you'll notice, as I get to uh, four, you're going to see a check mark over to the side. And what that means is that uh, it is possible to just choose a four digit pin code. You don't have to enter any more numbers after that if you don't want to. Although uh, you'll also notice that you can continue to enter numbers after you've seen that check mark. And uh, any length after four is acceptable. So you could enter a, a five, six, seven, or eight character pin code. It's entirely up to you uh, how high you want this uh, how many numbers you want in your pin code and then you'll also notice that there's a little icon there for backspace if uh, you want to go ahead and backspace if you're not happy with your number uh, you can backspace and uh, just uh, redo the numbers uh, if you're not satisfied okay and then we get to the point where it asks us to enter our recovery phrase and uh, this may seem like a daunting task uh, because there are 24 words and there's no keypad on this guy. But uh, the Ledger Nano has a little uh, built-in system that uh, kind of makes it easy. So the first thing that we want to do is just hit both buttons. Uh, so we get into the entry mode so that we can enter. Now you'll notice here uh, that it comes with a card and uh, there's 24 words on the card so uh, you're going to want to write all these down the first time you set it up it's going to present them to you uh, in this case what we're doing is restoring from a different one so uh, as you notice here there are options for the number of words for the recovery phrase 
Um, the Ledger Nano that I originally set up uh, came with 24 word recovery phrase so that's the one I'm going to use. Maybe some of the older ones came with uh, less but in this case we're going to choose 24 and uh, then it asks us to enter the first word and as you can see there's an interface for the alphabet you just go up and down and you'll also notice that uh, as you're entering words it presents you with less choices so in other words as soon as we enter a vowel or I'm sorry as soon as we enter uh, a consonant uh, it just presents us with vowels after that so uh, there are a number of words in there that uh, it uses uh, when it generates these seed phrases it doesn't uh, you know give you the possibility of every single word in the English language so you'll notice that as we start to complete a word um, it narrows down the choices pretty quickly for us based on uh, the letter that we're entering so if you'll notice here I think I'm about to enter the letter Y and as I do so it presents us with a completed word because there aren't that many Y words in its repertoire so it gives us the choice of a couple of words here that begin with Y and uh, you simply choose the word and then you can after you've chosen that word you can just move on uh, you also have the option of clearing the word at the end also note that uh, once you've entered say word number one and moved on to word number two you can't go back so you want to kind of be careful as you're entering your words to make sure that they are the exact same words in your recovery phrase and uh, but the ledger nano makes it quite easy once you've entered the words and started typing that you know it offers you the option uh, for a completed word so it doesn't force you to uh, type in every single letter of every single word makes life a little easier for you and as you can see here we're completing up word number three and uh, once that's uh, entered we'll do word number four okay and after you've entered the last uh, recovery phrase word you're gonna see a message here that tells you that uh, the device is ready and you can hit both buttons at this point and then it's uh, telling you to go ahead and install the apps and you'll be taken to the screen there where it's just the uh, settings only you continue then you go through the checklist you tell them yes I chose the pin yes I uh, that was my own recovery phrase and they'll let it check and this is pretty much the same uh, drill you go through when you first set up the device uh, and you will need to confirm that right all right so once you've uh, entered that uh, 24 word recovery phrase and uh, return to the main screen you're pretty much going to be where uh, you just started the whole thing uh, it's going to be empty and so you're going to need to go to the manager and reinstall any apps that um, you had on there before so I'm pretty sure I had some Bitcoin on there some Ethereum and some Litecoin alright so and I don't remember exactly how much I had on there but uh, I need to add those accounts in Ledger Live so we'll add the Bitcoin here and I do need to be inside the Bitcoin app so I'll just navigate over to Bitcoin hit both buttons it's happy there and it's gonna scan for any assets that might be at that uh, address based on that private key and there we go and as you can see I'm gonna change this to Bitcoin I have I do indeed have some Bitcoin on here a little bit stashed in this extra wallet now let's add the Ethereum I'm gonna need to exit the Bitcoin app and enter the Ethereum app. Mm 
All right. All right. And as you can see, there was a little bit of ETH in there as well. All right. And then let's add that Litecoin in there. I know I had to uh, store a little Litecoin in there. Let's activate. See it. Okay. And I can change the name of this guy. And there we go. And there you see that uh, in this uh, recovered uh, 24 word recovery phrase, uh, I got full access back to all of the accounts and uh, all of the balances and all of the wallets were still there. I've done this before too. Uh, when I bought my second Ledger Nano, I did a restore from my original phrase, uh, 24 word phrase of my original ledger just to see if it would work and I ended up with two ledgers that were accessing the same exact wallets. Uh, that's possible. And then I reset that second ledger and gave it to my wife so that she could put her stuff on there. So uh, that's how you do it. It's pretty straightforward. It's a little tedious, a little nerve wracking, but it works pretty well. And this uh, new Ledger Live app will kind of walk you through everything. I would like to remind you that I have a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the live Q&A from L.A. So I would encourage you all to come and join me and throw out any questions that you may have. I hope to see you there. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.